So I'm Alex Bliss, I'm the subject lead for strength and conditioning and I'm also the course lead for the MSc in Applied Strength and Conditioning Science. Strength and Conditioning at St Mary's is one of the kind of premier degrees that we have here. It's been a long-standing tradition at St Mary's to have strength and conditioning education. Uh, we started our first degree programme here in 2007 with our undergraduate in uh, strength and conditioning science and since then we've adapted and evolved. We now have two MSc programmes here as well as a professional doctorate in strength and conditioning science. Yeah, the performance education Centre where we are today is our main teaching space on the MSc in Applied Strength and Conditioning Science and across all of our degree programmes uh, in the Strength and Conditioning area. So it's split into two main sections. We have an open section here which we use for developing movement skills, so things like plyometrics, uh, acceleration, speed work, change of direction, agility work, but also kind of ballistics and throws. And then in the back section we have our resistance area, so where we teach our students the Olympic lifts and some of the kind of more fundamental weight room exercises that you need to be an effective SNC coach. You get to use some of the best facilities in the country when it comes to this kind of stuff. Uh, I've been in a lot of different SNC facilities and this is probably the best in this area. The, the PEC is as good as it can possibly get. I mean we have literally everything we could possibly need. Every piece of equipment, every measuring tool, uh, I have learned so much every day. I'm just excited to come here and get to see what I can use and learn about and, and get more experience with. Uh, a gym like this is not something that you would see anywhere. A commercial gym, a standardized gym is very, very, very different to this in terms of the space to begin with, the amount of platforms you use over here. This, is, this would be very similar to what high-end athletes would be using in the places they practice. So us as students having the opportunity to use uh, such a place for our own training and eventually and hopefully get to use it on athletes, it's I think uh, definitely a big benefit for us. We're very lucky where we're based in London. We have lots of great local partners but also partners on a national and international basis. Uh, we have great links with local uh, football teams teams, local rugby teams, uh, things like the English Institute of Sport, but we also have great links with the Royal Ballet Company as well. So we have kind of one clear main aim on our programme and that's to help students be the best coaches that they can possibly be. Um, and so the idea of having a distance learning MSc is that it kind of functions as CPD for coaches. We've really tried to design a programme so that there's a good balance between practical and theoretical content. At the end of the day, it's still a scientific degree, so we still have things like biomechanics, physiology, skill acquisition, but all elements that essentially under, underpin our practice as strength and conditioning coach. And then for the back of each of those modules, we ensure that we put those concepts into practice by coming here in the PEC and trying and experimenting with different training modalities and different training theories so that the students really see the bridge between theoretical scientific principles and how we translate that into coaching practice as strength and conditioning coaches. A good proportion of our students or, or existing strength and conditioning coaches who, who are looking to kind of improve. Um, we always have a small part of the cohort who are from the allied health prof profession. So for instance, physiotherapists who want to add an SNC string to their bow. Um, and then another thing that we do that we're really proud of is that we have a non-degree entrance pathway. And the idea of that is that Coaches who have lots of experience um, but who don't have a first degree can come and study with us and jump straight to a master's. Um, so students who kind of do that route are often people who've come from the military or very experienced personal trainers, people like that. So the distance learning stuff was great for me because it was um, something I could do alongside a current role. So it meant I didn't have to give up work to, to uh, obtain a master's. A strength and conditioning point of view, it's massively changed how I, how I practice in rehab. Um, it's improved what I do and improved the outcomes for the patients by being able to um, yeah, learn more and have that increased knowledge base. So the professional doctor is the, the world's first um, strength and condition specific um, PhD programme. So we, it's an opportunity for people to do a PhD specifically in the area of strength and conditioning. Content's produced in order to allow us to, to use a, as a student and a practitioner to understand strength and conditioning at a much deeper level than say a master's programme. So this is a PhD programme that will allow you to and become a better practitioner and improve not just your own output but the, your output as an organisation. Most of our staff will have uh, applied experience to supplement their academic expertise. So we have staff on the team that have worked in professional football, you know, professional golf, professional rugby. Um, so generally whatever sport a student's interested in, the likelihood is that one of our staff members will have some expertise in that area as an applied practitioner and then also um, 
helped you know, using their research expertise to uh, back up their applied knowledge. And St. Mary's specifically, it was just the caliber of the professors was just beyond anything and any other university that I looked at. Just a really chill environment when we were in here. The lecturers will just say, you know, put on some music and then everyone's kind of having a laugh but at the same time you're all learning, you're all coaching each other but then you've also got the lecturers there to help you guide you through.